The next hearing in the Ahmaud Arbery case will be held this Thursday. Defense attorneys for all three men charged in the murder of the 25-year-old are asking for their clients to be released on bond. Prosecutors are asking a judge to decide whether evidence showing racist text messages and social media posts from the three defendants can be shown at trial. News for Jack's I team investigator Kelly Wiley has been closely following this case. Racist text messages and social media posts could be the subject of this week's hearing in the Ahmad Arbery case. What do we want? Justice! Video showing the moment Arbery was shot and killed while running through a Brunswick neighborhood sparked nationwide outrage in May. Now, all three men accused of felony murder in his death are asking to be let out on bond. Court clerks have already released more than 20 pages of text messages from neighbor Roddy Bryan, who the GBI says joined in chasing Arbery and filmed the shooting with his cell phone. Reports show in one text Bryan wrote in January 2019, he said, working so all the N-words can take off. Happy MLK Day. The state filed a notice they plan to bring those text messages into court and also racial text messages, posts, and videos pertaining to Greg and son Travis McMichael. The lead prosecutor in the case, Jesse Evans, explains the evidence ties to a federal civil rights case against the men. The purpose of going into some of the evidence that we acquired, uh, particularly from social media and from text messages, is to show that there is an active investigation which is public by the Department of Justice into potential civil rights crimes. And that becomes important because any evidence that we found that sort of tends to support that uh, might be considered by the court as to whether he believes there's a, a risk of committing new crimes or a risk of flight. This week's hearing is also said to discuss challenges to the indictments of Greg and Travis McMichael. Defense attorneys for the father and son are asking the court to throw out the indictment of malice murder and false imprisonment against the two. Ahmad's mother saying she's trusting in God while waiting for justice for her son. I'm just trying to gather strength. Um, I know it's going to be hard. Um, it's going to be hard, but it's something that I must go through. Um, just trying to get, just basically just get myself prepared, my heart prepared. And the election did have an impact on the prosecution for this case. The attorney general of Georgia had appointed Joyette Holmes, the Cobb County District Attorney, to take over this case. She was the fourth district attorney on it, but she has lost her reelection. The new prosecutor is set to take over January 1st and did tell the Atlanta Journal-Constitution that he does plan on keeping that same lead prosecutor on this case. Reporting in Jacksonville, Kelly Wiley, Channel 4, The Local Station.